To develop teacher identity, we can look at a competency framework for lifelong learning. This is a framework which enables the reflective practitioner to consider components of their practice um, which will uh, help them develop their uh, identity as a teacher. The competency framework, um, which is about lifelong learning, um, is a, a framework which is continuous and supportive. And most importantly, it is also empowering for the individual. The competency framework, um, therefore, evolves over time. It can be added to and is used long term. It lasts for the lifespan of the teacher and is not theoretical. It is very much um, a, an applied framework for the teacher and um, is useful in terms that it um, uh, builds confidence within to uh, the teacher identity development process. The competency framework um, any competency framework that you use is very useful for the reflective practitioner because it helps define not only the components of teacher identity but also the interaction between those components of teacher identity. For example, in this framework we can see that um, interpersonal and communication skills form part of teacher identity as well as um, the learning from practice and the theory-based practice, how theory is being applied in practice. These are three components of a framework for competence. There's also another component which we can think of in terms of professionalism as well as pedagogical knowledge, the knowledge that we have about teaching the particular subject. And then a final component of a competency framework um, could be something like our focus on the learners that we have, the students that we're working with. So we can see a number of components of teacher identity and there can be connections between any of these components. For example, how does interpersonal communication skills interact with professionalism? How does interpersonal communication skills interact with pedagogical knowledge. So we're not only identifying the components of the framework, but how these components interact with one another. So a competency framework then is very much about active participation in the process of teaching and the process of reflection. It very much defines, helps us define uh, the goals, set goals and how to accomplish those goals for teaching. It helps us set uh, goals which are very specific, very measurable, uh, uh, that we can define and uh, realize the outcomes of our actions. Um, they can set the timeline that we're working to in terms of development and also help us identify the resources that we need uh, to uh, use in order to help us develop as practitioners. Um, it's also, since it's about defining the goals, setting the goals, um, we need to consider the particular goals that can be set uh, in terms of teacher identity um, as a reflective practitioner. And there can be uh, essential goals, um, those goals that um, are, are dictated perhaps by the uh, school community um, or by wider society. These are goals that are essential for us that um, we um, don't have a choice about. We also have problem solving goals. Um, we experience issues in the classroom, problems in the classroom, and therefore we have goals um, which we set to try and overcome those problems. And then of course we have innovation goals, um, goals which are about change, development and improvement, about professional growth, which all come together to lead to professional uh, teacher identity. And we can look at these in terms of the SMARTER framework. SMARTER stands for specific. Goals need to be specific. We need to be able to identify what they are so that they become measurable for us. Goals 
need to be achieved and we need to know that we've achieved them. So we need to be able to measure that achievement. Goals need to be action-oriented, or in other words, because we're working as reflective practitioners, we're doing things in the classroom, and those actions are translated into goals. The goals, of course, need to be realistic. We need to be able to achieve them and they need to happen within a, a, a time frame and within the constraints of resources that we have available to us. Most importantly, perhaps, these goals need to be energising because they very much help us continue the process of development and improvement. And, of course, for the individual, they need to be relevant. They're not general goals. They're specific to us and our teacher identity and how we can build our teacher identity.